Hey, what is going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here and um, bringing you guys an actual project video. I haven't worked on a project in a really long time. It's been mostly reviews, unboxings, and 3D printer builds. Um, but I made this lithopane lamp uh, as a birthday present for my girlfriend. And this is something <laughs> that I started working on months and months ago, like literally back in July. And I just got so busy with my summer classes and then not really knowing how I wanted to do this thing that I literally just got it finished in the last 24 hours here and I am extremely, extremely, extremely happy with the result. I think this is one of the coolest, if not the coolest thing that I personally have 3D printed and I could not be more happy with the results. So um, I had to show it to you guys and I figured I would uh, make take this time to make a little, again, showcase video as well as kind of talk a little bit about what went into it. Um, I didn't know much of anything about lithopanes and i had seen like one or two pictures months and months back about like 3d printed photos and so when i was thinking about um what i could make her that was kind of what had just kind of crossed my mind and so i started looking into it and saw that it was actually um, not super difficult to do and the process went something along the lines of um, oh, also, I'll place links in the description so you guys can see um, like the LEDs and all the different things that I used. Uh, but yeah, so Cura though has a built-in like converter, so you can drag, literally drag and drop a photo, and it'll convert it into I guess like a litho paint or 3D image. And so what I did was I took four images that uh, I liked and they have to have a certain kind of lighting some photos don't really look good as litho paints compared to other ones so you have to kind of drag and drop and see which ones look better um yeah i took four photos i dragged them into photoshop and made sure they had the same length and width uh excuse me length and width and then i dragged them into cura i think i made the depth five millimeters i want to say um might have been a little bit more than that it's been i actually printed the panels out uh and originally four months ago like i was saying so it's been a long time, but uh, I think I made them about five millimeters and I printed them at like layer one millimeter layer resolution or um, I'm sorry, point one millimeter uh, layer resolution at 100% infill. It took forever, like six hours of panel to print, um, but again, they turned out really cool and it took me a while to kind of build the enclosure um, to hold them all together because my uh, caliper has been out of batteries for a long time so I could use like a tape measure and kind of compensate for the inaccuracies which is why when I modeled this thing I made most parts bigger than they needed to be because I figured I could always glue things into place versus having to drill out or reprint especially when some of these parts like the main base that holds the LED ring um, was like a six or seven hour print so I wanted to make sure I didn't have to print it too many times but yeah, all in all, I think it turned out extremely kick-ass. The process after printing was basically just um, getting the four panels and lining them up in the top and bottom frame that I had modeled and using a uh, JB Weld epoxy to hold them together. And uh, I had to hold them really still because they had wiggle room. And after about five to six minutes, it kind of got a little bit more solid. And then about an hour later, the panels were almost nearly completely secure. And once I got the top and bottom on, the whole thing was uh, pretty solid. And the cool thing is the, I designed it in a way like how I wanted to make it was where you can pick up the lithopane and rotate it. So that way, if you want a different image on the front, you can. And I also added a on and off switch to the back of it. So that way you don't have to unplug and plug it. You can just flip the little switch on the back. And yeah, it turned out totally kick ass. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if I have inspired you to make your own lithopane, pain, that'd be really cool to hear. So let me know. Uh, as always, hope you guys are doing awesome. And thank you so much for hanging around while, you know, there's been kind of a drought of videos. Uh, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.